Today, we're fishing a trophy pond that's loaded with giant bass. We've caught multiple trophy bass out of here before, so we had to come back out and hunt for these giants. And boy, did we find what we were looking for. Oh, she choked it. Oh, that's a monster. Oh, oh my gosh, there's another one. Oh my gosh, dude. We made it out at the beautiful trophy pond. It's been a while since we've been here. It's probably been a year. I've been out here many of times, caught a ton of trophy bass out of here, including a 10 pounder. And uh, today we're gonna be on the hunt for these trophy bass. I'm actually starting off with a popping frog. It's a little windy for it right now, but I'm gonna see if I can catch one on top water right off the rip. I got it paired up on my Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose Baitcaster combo. If you guys want to check out any of the bait casters or spinning combos by kicking their bass you can check them out kickingtheirbass.com it'll be linked down below but let's go ahead and get this started and uh see if we can catch some trophy fish i think today's gonna be insane Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. Look at all the grass in that corner. That's money for a frog, dude. Guys, it is extremely windy. You can almost see, or you can see some of the old beds that are sitting here on this bank. It's probably not gonna be the best for this frog, but I just wanna see if we can catch one on it off the rip. You know, frog fishing is just so much fun. There's actually a lot of grass up in this corner. And it's so perfect for this frog. It's a little protected too. Oh, look at that. That slop is so thick. Not the best for a popping frog. If, if I had a normal frog on, it would go a little easier through it. I could see a giant just exploding through this grass. Looks so good. Come on, big bass. Let's get this video started, man. Let's get it started with the big one. Some big bass in here. We just gotta catch them. This grass is so thick. That bass is gonna go insane to get through this. It is way too windy for this frog. We need to put something else on them, way too windy. So as bad as I wanna put a chatter donk on, I think I'm gonna throw a jerk bait. So this frog's gonna retire for right now. Maybe as it gets later in the day, it might get a little less windy. We got this uh, Strike King jerk bait on. I'm gonna give this a shot. Jerk bait in the wind is money, we know that. Might get on a nasty bite with this thing. I was feeling it when I was leaving the house. I'm like, I kinda wanna bring a jerk bait out. Come on, big bass. Crazy story, the biggest fish I've caught out of this pond was on this same exact Strike King jerk bait. 10 yonder pounder, same one. That's the river one I usually use. So I have a little uh, love for this jerk bait out of this pond. <laughs> if we catch a dang, that one that big again, I'm gonna be flipping out, boys. We got a scale with us today. We're all prepared and ready. All right, guys, I had to go back to the chowder donk. Just confidence bait, big fish bait. We're gonna see what happens with this. I feel like it's gonna be a little quick on the bites. I would hope so. There's a hole right there. And that blade is not wanting to cut through any of these mats. So we're actually gonna tie on a metal bladed one. Noah is throwing, I think it's chartreuse colors. So I'm actually gonna tie on this black and blue and see what kind of damage we can do with this thing. good spot right by this pipe and I got one on my first cast oh oh he's in the grass I got him 
Heck yeah, boys. All right, calm down, buddy. I want to get you back in the water. Let's freaking go, boys. First fish of the day, not a big one, about a two pounder. We'll take them. Heck yeah, what a start. Took us a second to get a bite, came over here by the pipe, first cast. Got on board, baby. Thank you, buddy. He's wanting to jump up. There we go. I'm about to say, he's jumping all over the place. I put him in the water, he stays still. That's the start, guys. Let's get it. All right, guys. Well, we got started off with something. Not the big one that we're looking for, but we got something. Let's see if we can get us another one. That was our first cast right in front of this pipe. It's a good little sign. There's another one out here that'll bite. Somehow get the ball moving, get the ball rolling. Start catching a lot of fish. It is your time to bite. Something just hit my line, dude. What in the world? Oh, I just got hit right after that too. Something came up literally to hit my line at the top of the water. This is not the good grass you want to fish to. This is just nasty slop. Not the stuff you definitely want on your bait. If we're fishing like hydrilla or something, this chatter baby popping all through that. When it gets that nasty gook on it, just will not cut through that slime. Oh, oh, giant, 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 giant. Oh my gosh, here we go, boys. I can't tell how big she is. I just know she's freaking big. Oh, she ain't even freaking that. I mean, she's a three and a half pounder, but I thought she was at least four. Look at that, baby. Good three pounder. I'll take her. She felt freaking massive, but that's a pretty fish nonetheless. Beautiful one. Caught her right here in this wind, bunch of grass right here pretty bass all right we're getting a step closer boys getting a step in the right direction caught us a little one two pounder to start off and got us one about three i just want to keep climbing the ranks and see if we can uh get us a four or five pounder that maybe upgrade all the way all the way up to 10 just imagine this grass is just freaking toxic this is not grass that your chatterbait can even cut through like once you hit it it's done it's kind of annoying to be honest but Oh my gosh that bite that bite was crazy dude <laughs> that actually spooked me that was the weirdest little chatter donk bite i don't know it didn't like feel big i felt like a small one was biting it or even like a bluegill was just going crazy on the tail that was so weird man fish was going crazy why go come on fish that might be a good one i can't tell come on we're locked in oh oh get up here get up here yeah let's go might have taken me a minute there but hey we're getting them figured out all right guys we got us a beautiful little bass right there working that chatterbait kind of slowly and a little bit more towards the bottom finally got got this guy to uh to come eat thank you buddy what was that oh my gosh back to back that's a giant oh oh my gosh back to back they're out there in the middle guys i think connor has a freaking mega we're gonna go help him out that is a giant oh my gosh get up here oh Oh, it's in the corner of his mouth. Oh. 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 Look at that fish. Look at this, guys. I had to flip him. 
Dude, that's a mega. That's at least a five. Dude, that's a freaking tank. I had that small one eat me, and then I threw right back in that same spot, and this guy was out there. Oh, we're over five. Yeah, 5.18, almost a 5.2. All right, dude. Heck yeah, bro. Maybe they're stacked out there, bro. I know, dude, I think they are. I was, I've been thinking about it this whole time. Thank you, buddy. Tell the French to come eat. There he goes. All right, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's slick. Well, there we go. We got a five, a 5.2. Can we beat that today? Can we get another big one? I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's get back in the water. So guys, Connor found that little spot out there that's deep. I've been thinking about it all day. I gotta go try it. Getting the lipless crankbait out there in the middle on that drop off and ripping it up. I think we can catch some freaking monsters. Interesting enough, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling a red one. If they're not biting the red, I can always put on a natural. But uh, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling. I'm feeling that red two tap by Strike King. I kind of go with my gut, man. Sometimes I'm like, you know what? This red. This water is a little more stained out here. This should get smoked out there in the middle, especially with that deeper water. So I'll rip this up that edge, and we should be in business. All right, guys. I got this two tap on. Let's try it out here. So the way I'm gonna work is I'm gonna throw it out far as I can straight beam we're gonna let it sink to the bottom now I'm gonna reel up and kind of rip it a couple times let it sink back to the bottom reel my, my slack back up rip it a couple times and keep repeating the process oh and you'll get smoked just like that we should have a oh he messed my bait up oh dude yeah he absolutely cranked it though oh man yeah this is about to be dangerous on that drop off golly about to be a slave fest, boys. Just like what I said before, letting it sink, ripping it. What's that? Bro, 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 Connor, Connor. Oh, I couldn't even move that fish, bro. I literally couldn't even move it. Just running at me. Dude, second cast on the two tap on the drop off. Oh my God. Oh yeah, baby. Not as big as Connor's Giant, but definitely our biggest today. Solid three pounder. It's a great fish. He straight up clobbered this bait. That was actually a sick bite. With them eating that trap on the fall, it feels so good. I leaned up, I couldn't even move this fish. He felt a lot bigger than what he actually is, but that's still a solid close three and a quarter. Holy cow. Give her a little toss right here in the water. We're on a steep little drop. Thank you, baby. There she goes. Heck yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, wait, that might be a mega. What is that? What, what do I have? They got foul hooked him. Oh! 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 Are you that is another mega? Guys, I don't know. I must be getting like a little prematurely excited because these fish have been barely hooked. There's another really good bass for us, so I'm pretty excited about that. Let's get this guy back in the water. Thank you, buddy. Alright guys. We're meaning business. The dang red two tap. We didn't know if this color was gonna work, but two cast in, we get destroyed. Or three cast in. My second cast, I got hit. So like I said again, just throwing out, letting it sink, letting it hit that bottom, and then we're gonna rip it up this drop off. There's gonna be so many bass out there. I'm hoping we hook a dang ten, guys. I know there's some big ones out there. The most satisfying bite ripping this trap. Someone just freaking load up on it. Come on, biggin. Dude, oh, it's a mega. I can't even move him. I can't even move him. Oh, my God. Yep, it's a big one. 
Oh, dude. He had it right on the fall. I beamed it way out there. Can't tell how big this fish is. This is definitely a big one. I might have him hooked weird. Oh, it's a nice one. Over 30 pounds. Come on. Three pounder. I'll take him all freaking day. This fish smoked it before the bait could even hit the bottom. Look at that two tap hanging out of the side of his face. You, sir, bit it so aggressively. Thank you for the bite. Freaking awesome, guys. We're finally getting them on the trap here. This is something that's working for us, not a giant, but nice fish. Still not the big one we're after. Got back out there. I could beam this freaking trap a country mile, guys. It's insane. I'm getting my bait way out there. I like reeled up. I already felt him on there. That was insane. Right on the fall. That's why it's so good to work this trap how I'm working it, where I'm ripping it and letting it fall. Because I'll usually just crush it right when that thing starts falling. So actually where I caught that dang double digit, it's right here. I was beaming out in the middle, except I had a jerk bait on instead of this trap. Straight up freak of nature. I couldn't imagine with how these dang three pounders are feeling when you lean up into them out there on this trap. I couldn't even imagine one over dang seven, eight pounds. You talk about pulling. I can't even pull these dang three pounders with how far I'm hooking them. I'm hooking them way out there in the middle. It just feels like you're hooked into a stump that's moving. That's all it feels like. It's crazy. Oh, this fish feels crazy, but I don't know if he, he feels big. But these fish have been deceiving today. Oh my gosh. You won't believe it. I caught a dang catfish. I just caught a freaking catfish on the two tap. <laughs> Look at the colors on that puppy. Oh, on that kitty. My bad, dude. My bad. Oh my goodness. We might need a plier tradition. Well, I guess it's the first for everything. I, I thought that thing felt so weird. I didn't know if I was he was big or small or what. Just felt kind of awkward. Let's see Connor's reaction. Is that, a, is that a catfish? Yeah. On the trap? On the trap. What in the world? Isn't that crazy? I have never seen that before. Yeah, I did not think I was gonna be catching a catfish today on a rattle trap. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Go, buddy, go. You're almost to the water. Go. Go. A little bit more horsepower. I need help with you. Well, guys, that was interesting. What I never thought I was going to catch. It ain't catfish on the two tap today. Good thing Connor brought my pliers over because that puppy or that kitty cat bent out my dang hook. I'm talking like pretty bad, man. I don't even know that's fixable. That should be good. It's definitely not perfect. I'm better than nothing. All right. Let's see if we can get some more fish to bite in. Preferably not catfish. That is not what we're fishing for either. What in the world did I just catch? I caught a rope. I have caught just about everything you can catch between tree pounders, between some nice bass, between a caddy fish, and now a rope with, I don't even know what that is on the end of it. Now we gotta figure this out. Oop, that was easy. We're gonna leave that right there. I definitely don't wanna put that back in the water. All right guys, this lipless right here, I was putting in some work, but something's just telling me to throw more of like a natural sexy shad color. And I got this sexy shad one with a little bit of chrome on it. It's not that it's super sunny today. It's just one of the only naturals I have. And it does have a little sun peeking through. So maybe that's the go. We're going to tie this up and see if we can get more bites and get them 
choking this thing and that'll be like oh we know they eat that color better here goes nothing chrome sexy shad two tap on a kicking combo maybe they'll eat this color better come on big bass just slam this thing i want to see a dang 10 pounder i know they're in here come on Ooh, I just got hit. Totally slapped it. Oh, that was a bite. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, eat it. They're just slapping it. I don't know that red color, guys. Might have been it. Maybe the red was the go. If we get a couple more bites on this, I might need to switch back to that red. So to determine pretty much if they're gonna eat a color better than another, one thing I pay attention to is pretty much the swings and misses. You know, sometimes if they don't really want a color, they might just kind of swipe at it. They won't really eat it. I mean, you can still catch them on it. You know, they just might not be smoking it. But that red might've been the go. I mean, if I get one or two more bites that they're just not eating it, we are definitely gonna switch back. Dude, he, he was at the top of the water. He came off. My bait hit the water and I guess he just ate it instantly. When I hooked said, dude, he was already at the top of the water. You see that? What in the world? Well, that's another swing and a miss. I mean, maybe that was just a freak accident. He ate it. I mean, my bait hit the water. He must've just had it right away. That's the weirdest thing. It's like 10 foot out there, guys. I hook said he's already just jumping. Like what? Gotta be a stack of them. I'm just waiting on the angle, dude. I'm changing up my angle. I'm just waiting. Oh, dude, he about took the rod. He messed up my trap, bro. Oh, look, it's not even vibrating. He knocked it so hard. Oh man, guys, I don't know. Should we switch to the red? Let me throw it back in here. Oh, dude. I mean, they're just not eating this color. I'm getting bites. I'm just, I don't know. I'm feeling frisky. I'm gonna try this one. Total different color. I have an odd feeling this is the bait. This is the one. I'm hoping this wind's just gonna calm down a little bit over the next 30 minutes. It's, it's, do, it's definitely calmed down a fraction of what it was. Dude, that dang crush pile again. Yeah, it snapped. I've tied on so many traps, I'm about to get sick. So guys, we're gonna walk down to this corner. The wind's kind of calming down a little bit. I've been on the other side just for y'all's sake because, and that wind is super ridiculous. It just sounds horrible. So I've been trying to hide from the wind, but I'm gonna go fish this corner. We got all this wind blowing up in here. It's gonna blow all the bait fish. All these bass are gonna be staged up. This is the money spot to be fishing right now. Like I said, I was just kind of ignoring it because the dang wind was brutal. It's, a, it's about half of what it was before, if that. So uh, let's we'll see if we can get some bites over here. It makes sense that they would be in this corner. Oh, wait. I'm pretty sure I saw a dang bass freaking twirl right here. Or am I seeing things? What did I just witness? Oh, I just got absolutely freaking swamped. Haven't had a bite in like 45 minutes. We come to the side where it's pushing wind up in this corner and an instant bite. Crazy how you gotta pay attention to them little details while fishing, guys. It'll change your day. So it makes fishing fishing though. It's always different. It's changing by the conditions, changing by the now. Just gotta pay attention and adjust when you're not getting bites. Oh, I just got drilled again. We're on right away, didn't even move it. Oh, that's a giant, giant. Oh my gosh. 
Here we go. Here we go, boys. That bait didn't even freaking hit the bottom. This fish is big. I don't know how big, but I can barely turn her. We're gonna walk down. Oh, that's a monster. That's a freaking tank, guys. Here we go. This is my big fish. This is my big fish. I don't know if she's bigger than Connor's. Oh, she choked it. Oh, that's a five pounder all day. Let's freaking go, dude. Me and Connor both got one. And I want you to look at how she choked the Strike King two tap. Look at how she choked that freaking thing. Oh my goodness. Boys, that is an absolute brute. Dang, she's gonna be close. She, uh, I think she's four or something. I don't think she's five. I'm getting a good solid look at her. She's a freaking good one now. What a freaking bass. At least we got a big one, boys. And this might be the start of a freaking sleigh fest. I thought Connor was grabbing the scale, but I guess he's not. We'll just get a release on her. That's definitely a four and a half pounder right there. How thick that belly is. Thank you for biting, baby. That was just an awesome bite too. And to see how she ate that trap is so promising. It's just, I think they're gonna eat that color pretty good once we get in front of them. Fingers crossed, guys. We might've just found the stack of them. It's insane because Connor's big fish had it before his bait even hit the bottom. My big fish had it before my bait even hit the bottom. And I also lost that one fish that he had it before the bait even hit the bottom. So maybe we're on to some, maybe them big ones are hanging up closer, which is very interesting. There's gotta be more than one out there. Let's make some cast out in this zone and see if we can get them fired up. So I think there's a flat right out here. And right on the left side is when it tends to start dropping off. I wanna say I hooked that fish right there. And I feel like that's about where that flat is starting to drop off. And I think that's where they're sitting. Let's see if we're correct here. Should get swamped. Definitely more than just that four pounder sitting out there. I can tell you that. Just get them to eat. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I thought it was a tree. Connor, I got a monster. Connor, I need you. I need you, dude. This is a freaking. Oh. oh, okay. Okay. That is a freaking freak. I have never seen that. Bro, look at that. Hold that joker up. Oh my gosh, dude. That is a freaking mega. Dude, I can't believe how far he ate this trap. Let's see what we got. Five, six, four. Oh my god. Not quite six, but she was up there, man. Oh my goodness. Well, boys, that's a certified freak. That is a freaking giant. And I'm just blessed to be out here catching her. Thank you, baby. There she goes. Freaking beautiful, man. That's just amazing, guys. I thought that dang fish was every bit of eight to 10 pounds jumping with that big head. But I will take a five and a half pushing six pound fish any freaking day of the week. I, I really thought she was a stump at first. I mean, I hook set and I was like, wait, I'm moving this thing. And I wanna say I was reeling the bait, guys. I wasn't, you know how the whole day I've been doing this, I've been ripping the bait. I wanna say I wasn't even ripping it. I wanna say I just threw it out. I was just steadily retrieving that thing. I could be wrong, but I wanna say I was just reeling it. What a fish. Well, that's a good start. We just got to break that six, seven pound range. I know we can do it out here. Freaking trophy pond, man. It has some, some of them big trophy bass in here. You just got to get lucky enough to hook one of these jokers and keep them on. Oh, there we go. Gosh, I can't move them, guys. This feels like another monster of a bass. Oh my gosh, I can't even move her. These fish are fighting like something else. Come on, baby. Stay pinned. Oh, she's running to the left, heavy. This fish is big, man. Oh my gosh, there's another one. This one might be bigger. This one I think is bigger than the last one. Oh, I got her in the side of the face. Oh, come on, baby. 
Oh yeah, that's another freaking tank. Oh dude, that fish is way fatter than the last. Oh my gosh, come on. Oh, she barely hooked. That's a six all freaking day, man. Let's freaking go. Oh my God. Look at that fish. That's gotta be bigger than the last one, man. Let's see what we got. Oh my gosh. What is she gonna hit? Oh, she fell down to 698. She was 701. She was at 701. She fell down to 698. We're just gonna call that a dang seven pounder. Can't even fit her in the dang picture. I don't wanna keep this fish out of the water, but a dang seven pounder. <laughs> I just hooked that dang five and a half a second ago and then just caught this freaking beast. All right, baby, I got her. Oh, she was ready. Oh my God. This is insanity, guys. 